Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Lucy Wallace and Renee O'Connor about My Life is Murder on Acorn TV. Thank you both for your time. Thanks, Pete. Hello. I mean, this is exciting. This is a reunion that people have been talking about for a while. It's it's First coming. Time ever. It's yeah. been it's it's happening. It is happening. I do need to know, and Lucy or Renee, you can comment on this. What were kind of the I'm just curious, like what were the initial steps of, of this reunion happening? Was it a phone call? Was it just an idea? Like I'm just curious. Can someone talk to me? I'm curious about how it this like came to be. Well, I sounded her out in like 2019 <laughs> and about getting her down to Australia. And then COVID happened. For some reason, it didn't happen that year. And I was really not happy about that. I felt like as executive producer of the star, I should be able to say, be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so I was really not happy. And anyway, COVID happened. We moved to New Zealand, rang around and go, mate mate <laughs> you still on to come down quarantine and all that and she said <laughs> absolutely and but i was weeding the garden and uh and lucy was uh painting a house and that was before the insane craziness that was going on in america uh escalated and honestly you know i was appreciating i had an hour on the phone with lucy on uh, a video chat so i i didn't really expect much more <laughs> it's it's crazy it's interesting because people have seen you know interviews that you've done reuniting talking about xena warrior princess and you know you're uh, and you're working on this project you obviously both spent a lot of time together when you're working on xena did it just kind of like when you're working on this did it just kind of feel like you were kind of back to those days like what was that like a little bit exactly <laughs> it didn't feel like any time had passed at all um even the modern clothes. I mean, sometimes we did that on Xena. So it wasn't a, a weird thing that we were playing different roles to us, but yeah. it was like, we never stopped working together. Absolutely. So we didn't have the chariots. We didn't have you know, <laughs> yeah, the, the I battles. Hate chariots, by the way, <laughs> I bloody hate chariots. The only thing I hate more than chariots is crucifixion. Yeah, the crucifixion. It wouldn't be on the top of my list that I don't need to do again. <laughs> it is. And obviously the show- minute. It's it's a change of pace, obviously. To, to what like my love is murder is a change of pace of what you did on Xena Warrior Princess. Um, I'm just curious though, Lucy. You know what I love about this show is obviously this this show kind of bends a lot of genres. It's funny. It's a crime investigation show. Th did that draw you towards the project? Because we are in an age now where the bend genre bending is happening a lot. So I'm just curious. Is that something that drew you to this project? I'm going to thank you for that, Pete. Genre bending. I like that. I do. That's, that's cool. Not just gender bending. We're genre bending. That's amazing. I like it. Yeah. Did you make that up? I did not. I just, I, I it, it, it's I definitely it. a trend happening, though. It's like people aren't kind of staying in this box in terms of what they're and making like, content wise, which I find very interesting. And this show is a perfect example of that. It's great. Right. Um, actually, what happened was. Um, by 2019, I felt sick at heart about what was going on around the world, and I didn't want to make anything. I was done with violence, and I was done with sex and uh, all that stuff, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to be part of something that was good, that was good at heart. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Claire Tonkin, this chick from Australia, contacted me and said, want to make a murder show? And I went, yeah, let's do it. Nobody <laughs> might show up. Maybe nobody will want to see it, but we'll have a nice time. So we took this risk and um, uh, she went, you know, sold it to the network in Australia and, and we found the right head writer, Tim Pye, and um, made this quirky little show that then got slapped with COVID and we moved it to New Zealand and um, finished up the season on a high by bringing my old co-star, Ren O'Connor, <laughs> all the way from... <laughs> Colorado slash Los Angeles, and uh, <laughs> and uh, we uh, put down some righteous justice. And Renee, was that call 
hey, do you want to be on a murder show that's funny? Was that the call a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, the call was literally, do you want to come to New Zealand um, now? You know, <laughs> and it was phenomenal. I think uh, there uh, they had to go through so many hurdles and obstacles to try to get me even in the country, much less on the show. Um, but the timing was perfect. Um, honestly, I think there was a little bit of a extra lockdown that had happened um, while I was in quarantine. But um, but, it, you know, it gave me the opportunity right. to 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 yeah. to, uh, to to just get ready to to play with Lucy again and. Um, and what I love about the show is that it really does feel good. You know, you can watch the show and you, you just get to escape from all the craziness that's going on in the world mm -hmm. and um, have a few laughs and try to figure out what's going on uh, before Lucy yeah. does, you know. <laughs> it's, got hang, it's got a hangout factor, you know, you come and hang yeah. out with us. You're going to feel good at the end of the episode. You're not going to feel, yeah. uh, you know, grim and more miserable because the world's miserable enough at the moment for sure and it's one of those things too that like it or not xena warrior princess because of the age of social media and everything does not have a shelf life memes the clips like it's it's always gonna be around <laughs> as well like and i do find that really interesting i'm just curious from both of you we'll start renee on this one did you have an idea that because you're working on the show for a good amount of time and everything, Zena. Did you have this idea that there it was going to be this show at one point, maybe like three seasons in, that wasn't going to have a big shelf life that was going to be around, or were you kind of caught by surprise with everything that happened? You know, years after it's all because you know it's it's still around. People still talk about. People still love it all like all the time. But does not have a shelf life. So I'm just curious when you were making it, what was, what that was like if you were anticipating that a little bit. No, not at yeah. all. In the very beginning, it was really just trying to do my my best work. You yeah. know, I was a young actress um, and trying to show up every day the best I could um, and learning as I went, always trying to improve. Um, but I it wasn't until maybe, what, maybe a, two years after we had been filming where I saw the reaction to Lucy uh, that blew my mind. It was shocking. And then e even then we were so isolated that it didn't affect our lives uh, more than just an, a normal working situation yep. until Lucy would go on as maybe a press tour. So it didn't cross over so much at all. It wasn't until the show finished that I was able to sort of reflect on um, just how progressive the show has been, how it's changed people's lives. Yes. I never could have imagined the legacy that it's actually created though. That's a good word, Lu Lucy. The, it's, it, there's a legacy with Zeta Warrior Princess. There is, Lucy. Yeah, there is, and it's sort of in the um, in the lives of the people who really loved it because they took all these messages of empowerment and self respect and and you are not where you came from. Yep. Um, who who do you who do you believe yourself to be? You know, make it so be be that. Yep. And um, they made big changes in their lives. So the legacy is in in empowerment of the individual to to better themselves and get themselves out of some tough situations or get medical help. Um, you know, we've met a lot of these fans yeah. face to face over the decades, yeah. the decades. Yeah. And <laughs> we hear the same story yeah. over and over. The show helped me get myself out of a bad situation, whatever that meant. Yes. Um, so yeah, the legacy's in them and I, I, I bless them for it. Well, I was actually going to end the interview with that because, you know, shows like, I mean, people go through tough times. I went through t tough times. I, w I had those shows and, you know, I had like TV, film and music to kind of keep me through those tough times. So I did want to yeah. say I was going to end the interview with this, but, you know, you provided an escape. So thank you both very, very much. Oh, what were the shows that um, really heartened you? Um, I, I I look back, you know, as a '90s kid, show like a lot of a lot of a lot of sitcoms were important were, were big for me. Boy Meets Ooh. World, Full House, a lot of that as well. Seinfeld, Seinfeld, Seinfeld. But you Great. see, again, but getting back to the the shelf life, that show has no shelf life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. They I, were really I, important. I will say too. I have to say, you kind of set me up for this. Movies too. There's a lot of movies. Yeah. I mean, there is one movie. I, I'm not just saying because the interview. I mean, Euro Trip. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Movies like that. Oh, yeah. That was I'm hilarious. sorry, Lucy. I have to mention it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. That got That's you right. through? It was funny. It was so funny. I it was agree. funny. Oh, you know, Trip, American Pie, Road Trip, all those movies. That's what I grew like. Those were the movies too, where I was at the age where I was starting to like. I was I was like you know twelve thirteen, but it was like cool to be able to go see American Pie, right? Like you know. What I mean? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that sh- that you Euro could. Trip was written by the guys who wrote Seinfeld. Yeah. You know, I that, didn't know yeah. that. Dave Mandel, Wonder. Jeff Sheffer, Alec wow. Berg, yeah, they were on Seinfeld and um, yeah. and also on um, Curb Your Enthusiasm. That, that is and now amazing. Dave's doing Veep and, you know, yeah, so. That, Before we wrap up yeah. quickly, I just wanted to go back to My Life is Murder very quickly. I just want to know, especially with this season two right now, you know, everyone's, it's excited. Renee's going to show up. Everyone's going to be like, oh, my God, reunion and everything. What are you hoping they get out of it specifically when they watch this show? We'll start with Renee specifically, like takeaway wise with this season I specifically. Hope- yeah, honestly, I hope that um, the second season just keeps launching the show into new heights and new uh, new places um, that even more people have the opportunity to to enjoy Lucy and enjoy these it, to, in America, these international shows, you know, yeah. because it doesn't her show doesn't have the same tone as some of the American um, uh, ne- network shows at all, you know, and I, I just I appreciate that. And I hope even more people start to subscribe to Acorn or wherever they can to see her show. And it uh, keeps yeah. going up, up, up. Absolutely. Lucy? The great thing about streamer, something like Acorn, is that um, it's armchair tourism, too. You yeah. always wanted to come to New True. Zealand. Come and hang out with me in New Zealand. I want to bring you to my hometown. So, um, oh, so But bringing Renee on the show was is honestly like my love letter to the fans you know, to, because I know they've always wanted it. And the fact she was available and willing to come and um, suffer quarantine, <laughs> et cetera, um, was, is her love letter. So that, that's, that's all it was about. That is so awesome. And I wanted to thank you both for your time and uh, chatting with me a little bit about My Love is Murder. I really, really appreciate it. Pleasure, Pete. It's thank you. Awesome. Very yeah, quickly, nice can you plug away on social media where people can kind of follow and keep up date with everything? Yeah, I'm on um, Twitter. Yep. I do have Instagram, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I'm only on Instagram. It's the only thing that I really know how to manage. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Absolutely, and they're going to be they're going to be able to look out for uh, it, it's 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 the season finale is almost around the corner. So <laughs> for season two, mm-hmm. so it's really exciting. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, it's Lu- Lucy Lawless and. Renee O'Connor and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.